Picture this. Corona time, over. You're living life. You're staying hydrated. You're dancing. But then, it's your turn to do the whip and the nene. What are you going to do with that atrocious water bottle in your hand? Holding your water bottle is so last year. So let's make something to do it for us. Um, here are my materials. It's a skirt and some fringy trim stuff I got at the thrift store pre-corona. And I didn't really know what design I was going for. So I sketched out a really shitty drawing, which may or may not help me at all, ever. But it's part of the process. See? Yay, it's not that bad, is it? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? It's really, really bad. But, okay, I wasn't trying, okay? I could try. Maybe I will one day. <laughs> to get things crack a lacking, like the cool kids say, I'm just cutting my skirt into one big piece or square of fabric. And we actually don't need that right now, so we're just going to take some paper bags from the grocery store and our trusty dusty water bottle. By the way, this is my water bottle. It is attached to my hip 24-7. One could say I am a thirsty hoe. I then take my trusty dusty water bottle and trace around the base of it onto the paper bag. And then I find something that's slightly bigger than the base of my water bottle, which didn't really work because it was about the same size, but then find something even bigger and try drawing a circle around that object which actually ended up being too big so i just freehanded a line that was a half inch bigger than the circle we originally drew for seam allowance i mean it's not like you have a compass upstairs or anything but i just really wanted to challenge giotto because he's been real quiet ever since i drew this perfect circle anyways <laughs> now we're going to cut that perfect circle out and admire our work in as you can see, it kind of fits, but that's what we want, a kind of fit on the base. Now I am measuring out the circumference of my water bottle, which is about 11 and a half inches, and how high I want the water bottle sleeve to sit on my water bottle, which is about six-ish inches. Now I'm cutting out another Sprouts bag. <clears throat> Please sponsor me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and um, I'm cutting out, I'm drawing out a rectangle. A rectangle oh god that was so dumb and <laughs> just make sure that you add a half inch to each side lengthwise for seam allowance and a half inch on the bottom for seam allowance and however long you want to hem the top i i did an inch because i did a rolled hem so the total should be like 12 and a half inches by seven and a half once I got those two paper bag pieces cut out, I put that pattern on my fabric and cut out the matching fabric piece to the paper bag piece just by tracing around it. Nothing too fancy here. Also gave it a good iron. And now it's time for the hard part. I know what you're thinking. How the frick do I sew a circle onto a rectangle? Well, my advice would be to work literally like one millimeter at a time and pin the living bejesus out of it. It helps if you rotate the circle a little section at a time so that you pin the part that's touching the rectangle, which will only be about a half inch if, if less, and just pin that in place and keep working along and keep rotating that circle around the straight edge of the rectangle. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just just pin it a lot and hopefully we'll get through this together. And as for sewing it, just try to have the same mindset. Just work a little bit at a time and keep curving your, your seam along with it and we should be okay. Also make sure that you start and stop from the side pieces of the rectangle so I'm not sewing over those just quite yet which when we're done will actually leave a little hole there as you can see 
Um, I'm going to sew the side seams together before fixing the circle all the way around. So as you can see, there's a little bit left for me to sew because we added seam allowance and I'm just going to sew along that line. Theoretically, you could sew the rectangle together first to make a cylinder and then sew that cylinder to the circle, but I was nervous about matching it up perfectly. So I just did it this way, which may or may not have been harder. But as you can see, now I'm just going over the circle and sewing the what little gap there was down. And that's the finished product and moment of truth. Oh my god, it fits! Yay! <laughs> So the next part is to hem the top down and I do this by doing a rolled hem. So I fold it once and fold it twice and sew down the line. I got some help from my iron there and gave it a good old press so that everything was nice and neat. Oh, don't forget if you have a fray fabric to serge all the edges too. So I just go around that circle with my sewing machine and that's what it looks like when it is done. I added two little hemlines for effect and now it's time to professionally measure out how long you want your strap to be just eyeballing it i made sure i could go over one shoulder or crossbody for whatever level of security you want the measurement was about 45 46 inches so now i'm cutting a strip of fabric that's 46 inches long and two inches wide and here I am just cleaning all that up. And now it's time to fold it right sides together hot dog style and sew along the edge. Once that's done, I use a good old safety pin and flip that bad boy inside, right side out, not inside out, right side out. Kind of confusing when you say. But yeah, and then I gave it a good old press and I make sure to serge the ends so that they don't fray. The next thing I do is size up where I want these straps to sit on my holster. I just put them on each side, space them evenly, and pin them in place. Then I took them to my sewing machine and sewed along the hemlines that I hemmed the top of the sleeve, the holster in, so that it's kind of inconspicuous. And yay! This is how it looks so far and it actually works and I'm so excited and you can leave it like this if you want but I'm a little bit extra so I'm gonna add some fringy fringies and here I am deciding what I wanted to do instinctively I just wanted to like cover the whole thing in fringe by like wrapping it around the whole handle around the bottom and I realized it kind of looked like one of those camouflage suits that that you know those ones those ones and but I just decided to keep it simple, um, simple for me, and just do one strip of fringe around the top. So I cut it to size and with the help of a lighter and some fabric glue, I got it to stay down because this stuff unravels so easily. And once that was done, I just sewed it all the way around the top of my sleeve holster and I elongated my stitch length to make it a little bit easier. And after I went around that like three times, just for security purposes. It was done! Done, done! Now I never have to sacrifice dancing and hydration ever again. I can just strap this sucker onto my body and it fits nice and snugly and you could set it down and you could put it on and I'm just so pumped about this. Woo! Oh, let me make this look a little prettier. Okay, yay! <laughs> Stay thirsty, my friends. of three you will subscribe to my channel and like this video one two
three. Did it work? I hope so. not die of dehydration. Well, I have the perfect solution for you.